I'm going to be completely honest. I have played Genshin Impact more than I like to admit. What was supposed to be a few month long enjoyment turned into a year long investment, all because of one Canadian Japanese man named Kaidahara Kazuha. I started the game around summer of 2021. At the time, me and my friends didn't have much to do because of the lockdown at the time. And after seeing so many clips from some moves being similar to some moves in DMC, I wanted to check it out and see what else was going on. My main motivation to start Genshin was to get the most Virgil-like character in the game. Now I'm a little motivated! Since I started the game in early July, the ban at the time was Kazuha. At first, I didn't think much of him until I tried his trial. After the trial, he was my main goal. He was the character I was going to strive for. He was the most DMC character to me. I wasn't aware of the existence of Ayaka at the time, but even if I did, I would have skipped out on her anyway. Cause the most virtual like thing on her is her judgment cut. And that's really just it. Meanwhile, Kazuha was everything I was looking for. He was stylish. I had enjoyment playing him. His animations were just exquisite. I was just in love. Not to mention, he looked very similar to the main protagonist, and I thought he was literally the main protagonist's brother. I worked my ass off to get Primos. I did every little thing I could to try and get him. Hell, I almost took dick for more Primo. But in the end, I failed to get him. Before I knew it, his banner was gone, and it was the next one. I failed my objective to get the most Virgil-like character in the game, and at that moment I realized this was going to be more difficult than I thought it was. Fast forward a bit, and after I took a long break from the game, and came back after the news of a new character dropping, the Electro Archon. And despite her name literally having a writing in it, she was my next objective. Not because she was the most deemed to like character, far from it, but because she was literally the god of electricity. I can't be electric bitch. I saw this as a challenge. If I somehow didn't get the Electro Archon, then I would have started doubting myself to get Kazuha again let alone any character that is close to Virgil in this game. I was AR-19 or 20 and it started, and I was AR-30 to 37 by the time her banner released. This dude got no bitches, damn! I was ready. As soon as her banner went live, I had zero hesitation in rolling for her. I did my first roll thinking nothing would come of it and- I don't wanna do this no more. To my disbelief, I got her on the first pull. At that point, I was confused on what to do. I didn't know what to do. I felt like Denji when he finally got the chance to touch Power's booba. I was hollow. After that, I did nothing but hold onto my primos until Kazuha. And I was in fear that I would be massively disappointed. I thought to myself, his rerun wouldn't take that long, right? So I started waiting. Minutes turned to hours, hours turned to days, and days turned to months. So innocent I was. Dumbass, nigga! <laughs> Seven months later, I still saw no sign of this Canadian. I was starting to get worried. This man hasn't had a rerun since July, and seeing many characters get debuted then reran before him was heartbreaking. And now the newest leaked rerun banner in 2.7 are that of Zhao and Ito. As if we didn't see Zhao literally three patches ago, and here he is again in this official arc of 2.7. This shit no more, man. At that point, I thought to myself, I might as well just go to a local Home Depot and decide what kind of rope I want to get. I followed the role of if the character is important to the story, then they get a banner, and I respected that role. It would be kind of weird if the story was about Inazuma and whatnot with Raiden and Yato, etc., and just have a Klee banner in the middle of that. Like, what? But I started questioning this back in 2.6. The main reason, to my knowledge, 2.6 was hyped up was because of one, I have this banner, and two, the Irondori Festival. Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude. From my memory, one of the main focal points in the event was about Kazuha's fallen clan, and with that, I was given hope that he might come back. That I could finally stop using the Animo Traveler as copium. And my Fanboy and Mondstadt took the banner position next to Ayato. It's so. <laughs> and I couldn't even say much at the time because I knew if I was heard a vision about it, I would have got hit with that L plus Mikazo Horatio. <laughs> to my knowledge, I don't think Venti did much there in the event except for exist and drink. Granted, I did skip through most of the dialogue, but like then again, who didn't? This may just be me trying to cope, but like seriously. Now I just sit here waiting more and more trying to find more news on Kazuha's banner, with my only hope being his rerun in 2.8.
which literally might just be one year after his first debut, making him one of, if not the first five star character to take one year until their first rerun, which is pretty fucking disheartening considering other times characters would get a rerun literally two to three banners later. In the end, it is all speculation anyway, and we really have no confirmed idea on how many more banners we've got to enter until Kazuha even gets close to having his rerun, as if they're that one guy from with a fishing pole in a safe arm ad. You gotta be quicker than that. Even after all of this, the waiting, the banners, the heartbreak, I'm still not giving up hope on him. I'm still striving every day to get closer to getting him, seeing this as a form of self-control, trying not to waste my primos because I just want to soothe my crippling gambling addiction because of how many 5 throws I've seen my friends get. But at least I stay hopeful knowing that once his rerun comes, I'll finally be able to be free from the shackle of waiting and finally be able to roll with no care in the world. Finally be able to roll without thinking to myself, I am never going to financially recover from this. When the day finally comes, and I do roll him, it will feel all the more euphoric, all the more sweet as I sit back in my chair and go, I finally fucking did it. But until that day, I can't give up hope on him. I have to keep going. I have to stay motivated. After all, this whole thing was started because I wanted a character similar to a man driven by motivation, and I can't give up on that. I can't give up on that motivation that is driving me. And that goes for all of us in a way. So whoever you are saving for, keep grinding away until their minute comes. And trust me, it'll be all more worth it.